Meet Miss L. Miss L owns a four bedroom townhouse in Kingstown that backs up to the wood. Due to her age and lifestyle changes, Miss L is selling the townhouse to move to a one level property. Miss L's home will require on site staging with one month of furniture rental, three months of off site storage, two professional cleaning services, one during the coming soon phase and the other during the closing phase, 16 hours of handyman services, servicing of her HVAC system and a local moving company to transport her belongings to her next home. The following video is part one of a two part video series that discusses the true cost of selling your home in Kingstown. This video will walk you through the sale of Miss L's home while explaining the costs associated with each one of the four phases of the home selling process. My goal is that after you watch this series, you will have no surprises when selling your home as a first time home seller. The purpose of all of our video is to make it extremely challenging for any real estate agent to take advantage of. Let's start the video. Hi, my name is Abraham Walker, your YouTube real estate agent for Northern Virginia. I've been selling real estate since 2008 and take pride in breaking down the real estate process through video. If you learned something in this video series, do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on notifications. Enough about me. How much does it cost to sell a home in Kingstown? There are four phases to selling a home. The four phases are coming soon, active, under contract, and sold. Depending on the market and condition of your home, you can expect to spend some money during each phase. Coming soon is the first phase we will dissect. Coming soon includes anything you do to your house before putting it on the market. This phase will be the longest of the four phases. Before this phase begins, you will interview and hire a real estate agent. It is important to mention your agent right now because they will prepare a market analysis that will serve two purposes. One, you'll know where to price your property. Two, you'll know how to position your property in the market. Market. We'll talk more about price in part two of the video series. When it comes to positioning your property, we're really talking about making it more appealing to buyers. The three ways to make your property more appealing to buyers are appearance, repairs and deferred maintenance, and update. All three require time and money. In my 12 years of selling real estate, I've yet to come across a property that doesn't need some assistance with its appearance. Appearance in this context means how the home looks. When you walk around the property, what do you physically see? When I'm evaluating the appearance of your home, I'm trying to look at the property from the perspective of a home buyer. Quite simply, what will the buyer see when they look at this home? The three areas you can expect to spend money on modifying the appearance of your home are staging, decluttering, and cleaning. With vacant properties, the main expense you incur involves the cost to stage the property. On-site and virtual are your two staging options. Virtual staging costs $35 to $50 per room and takes one business day to perform after your home has been photographed by a photographer. On-site staging costs $400 to $600 for an initial design consultation and $400 to $700 per month for each stage room with a one month minimum furniture rental. For both staging options, most homes require a minimum of three stage rooms. If you plan on living in your home while selling the property, you can use your existing furniture to stage your property and save money on the staging fees. To save the maximum amount of money, talk to your agent before decluttering the property. Curb appeal, which is staging for your exterior, is the last item on your staging checklist. Hiring a professional landscaper or neighborhood teenager from next door to prepare the yard will help improve the exterior appearance of the property. Now you won't be able to hire a teenager if your yard is in total disarray. Teenagers are best for simple landscaping projects. Expect to pay between $50 to $300 depending on the complexity of your garden and size of your lot. Every occupied home can benefit from decluttering, which could mean purging your home of unnecessary items. Now, some items you'll want to keep, but they do not add to the appeal of the property. In the event you don't have enough storage to move those items, purchase off-site storage to house items you deem necessary, but you'd like to move to your next property. Off-site storage units cost vary depending on the amount of items you plan on storing and time of year. Expect to pay between $50 to $200 per month for a minimum of three months. While you may do a great job of cleaning your home, hiring a professional to deep clean your house is ideal 
for homes coming on the market. Deep cleaning includes top to bottom attention, including windows, carpets, and if necessary, the exterior of your home. Professional deep cleaning varies depending on the size of the property. Expect to pay a minimum of $200. Now that we've taken care of the appearance of the property, let's discuss repairs and deferred maintenance. If you haven't serviced your air conditioning system since you've owned the property, it's going to come up during the home inspection. Handling repairs and deferred maintenance items before your home comes on the market saves you money by not scaring off prospective buyers once your home is under contract. When it comes to repairs, now is the time to fix that leaky faucet, loose doorknob, or broken socket cover. The easiest way to find out about everything that needs to be repaired in your home is to conduct a pre-market home inspection. Now I know what you're saying. Abraham, I don't want to know everything that's wrong with my house because my house isn't new. The buyer isn't buying a new home. I get it, I get it. Not to worry because a pre-market home inspection isn't a full inspection where you learn everything about your home. This inspection is more of a walk through to point out major flaws that are likely to be red flags on a home inspection. Expect to pay between $250 to $825 for a pre-market home inspection. Handling repairs now can also save you money because any defect you find you can fix yourself or use an unlicensed handyman service to complete the repairs versus using a licensed contractor. The main reason for this is after the home is under contract and once the buyer conducts a home inspection, repairs or remedies listed on the home inspection response must be completed by a licensed contract. Handymen charge between $200 to $50 per hour, while licensed contractors can start at $100 per hour. How many hours of handyman service you're going to use depends on your property's condition. Expect to use two full days of handyman service. While most homes don't have serious repair issues, I do come across a lot of homes that have deferred maintenance all the time. Several items fall in the deferred maintenance category. HVAC service, AC duct cleaning, fireplace vent cleaning, gutter cleaning are most of the common ones I come across in Kingston. Since HVAC service and cleaning is the most likely deferred maintenance, budget a minimum of $90 per unit. Please, please do your agent a favor and do any repairs that HVAC company recommends at the time of service and cleaning. Our last coming soon expense category is update. Expense is the wrong way to categorize update. Making an update on your property when you're about to sell it is an investment. If you're watching this video, I'll assume you haven't started the home selling process. Do yourself a favor, before you think about updating your home, ask yourself the following question. Will the update make me more money than I spend? If you want to turn your house into an HGTV home for the next buyer because you're a nice person, go right ahead. If your goal is to make updates that make you money, do the following three steps. One, have your agent schedule showings for properties in Kingstown that are similar to your property. Two, once you're in the properties, make notes about the common updates found in all the listings. Finally, make a decision based on your research which updates to perform. Some of the most common updates when selling a home are new paint, new carpet, a kitchen or bathroom spruce up, a kitchen or bathroom remop. A spruce up is when you paint the space, update any cabinet hardware, replace faucet fixtures, and possibly upgrade the lighting fixture. Spruce ups can be handled by the same handyman used in the repair section. Since your budget can blow up quickly in this section, sharing prices won't do you any good. Just remember Remember that updates are an investment. Side note, don't worry if the numbers make sense for you to update your home, but you don't have enough money to pay out of pocket. If you have enough equity in your home, use a contractor that will allow you to pay for the renovations from the proceeds from your sale. You'll be able to renovate your home, maximize your profit, and pay for the renovation once you sell the property. Check out my interview with Home Prep, a local home contractor company that offers this service in the Northern Virginia area. You can click up here for a link to the video and there will be a link in the description. Cost recap, Miss L, the coming soon phase is done. You did a great job of getting the house ready for the market. Here are the costs Miss L incurred in the coming soon phase. 
This is the end of part one of our two part series on the true cost of selling a house. I know the coming soon section was long, but the remaining three sections will be much shorter. In part two, we'll cover the costs associated with the last three phases of the home selling process. To watch part two, click the link in the description or up above this video. For first time home sellers, let me know in the comment section how much you thought it would cost to prepare your home in the coming soon phase. If you sold a home before, these figures may be old news for you. For my experienced sellers, comment down below what expenses you would add to the list. Do you have any advice for first time home sellers? As always, feel free to send me a text or shoot me an email if you have any questions about selling your home. If you learned something new from this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.